collaborate uh, since a very long time with Leica. So uh, our group is working on protein trafficking and uh, during this collaboration we started with TILF microscopy and then we uh, also started to study GSD. So super resolution using this GSD technique and uh, first we had the opportunity to use it in 2D and there appeared organelles as flat structures within cells. Now with the new 3D variant, of course, we can see how these flat structures appear in the third dimension and uh, uh, originally uh, circular structures, they become round, like a ball, for example. And we can see how these structures then uh, localize within the cell in 3D, which is very important for us because then we can allocate them in comparison to different other structures. So we know how uh, trafficking occurs, how protein traverse organelles from uh, one organelle to the other in 3D and this is very important. So by using this technique we can also see uh, in that greater detail um, the allocation of different proteins in different organelles. Yeah, in my mind, to use the microscopy as the ultimate super resolution technique. Um, for my work, it's a big advantage to um, get detailed information about cellular compartments and the protein trafficking pathway. And um, it's suitable for many samples. Um, it's very simple. You, you can grow your cells on cover slips and uh, then you can fix and stain them with um, uh, commercial uh, staining protocols. So it's very simple and uh, you can use a broad range of fluorophores, for example the Alexa fluorophores. And um, you just have to take care about uh, some things. For example, you have to use such a depression slide and uh, to avoid uh, oxidation you uh, have to use a reducing reagent like Mia and you have to, uh, to seal your samples. So the technical usage of the new uh, 3D uh, GSD system is very simple since uh, the 3D software is nicely embedded into the GSD wizard. So um, the 3D imaging is more or less the same uh, than in 2D. Um, there are two main challenges in 3D GSD imaging uh, and those are calibration and set, set localization. Um, for your set, for a good set localization, you need a very good staining of your specimen so uh, that the software can easily distinguish between the blinking events. Uh, to show you this, uh, I have a nice little video where you can see that those problems can be overcome, which you can see here. I'm using 3D GSD imaging um, because I was wondering if my protein of interest is really located within a vesicle. Uh, or perhaps in the vesicle membrane. And uh, here you can see the real benefit of this method is uh, that I can now easily see that my proper protein of interest is here, is here seen in red, is truly in the center of the vesicle. Um, so we can conclude that the protein is coated by the vesicle. And for me, it's an impressive way to show this in high resolution. <laughs>